In this video, we are going to cover the tools menu. All right, so we're gonna start off with the move tool. Right, so the move tool does what it says, which is move objects on your canvas. So here, if I click on this rectangle, I can move it to wherever I want it to, to go. Okay, so I can also move the type. So pretty much that's what the move tool does. Now you're going to find yourself going back and forth between your other tools and the move tool. So the move tool, I would like to call it maybe the default tool that you need to be in when you're working on your document. Or I mean, for you to have a quick workflow, since this is going to be the tool that we're going to default to, you need to memorize the shortcut V. So V takes you back to the move tool. Let's move on to the marquee tool. Now the marquee tool is used to select parts of a document. Like for example, in this case, I can select uh, that part of the document, make sure I'm on the right layer. And then if I duplicate that, or if I press command J, what happens is that selection has now gone on its own layer. Now to prove that, we're going to get rid of the main image here in the layers by clicking this uh, layer visibility icon. Okay, so if I do that, it goes back in there. If I do that, it's going to disappear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the move tool, move the main image away. And now you can see that selection that I made earlier. Okay, so that's one way we can use the uh, the marquee tool. The second way, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to delete that. The second way is if you select part of the document, you can fill that part with a color. So what I'm going to do now is I'll create a new layer and I'm going to press Alt Backspace. So straight away that has filled that selection with color. Okay, so I'm just going to press Command D to get rid of the marching ants. And if I click this down, you're also going to notice that there's more options there. So we can click the electrical marquee tool and also the single row and single column. So I'm just going to do one more example with the elliptical marquee tool. So I'm just going to select part like that, create a new layer, and then fill that with a color. Now that color could be uh, anything you like. So if you want to change the color, you can just double click here and change that color to. So pretty much that's how you use the marquee tool. In future examples, I'll be showing you how to use this in, in, advanced, in an advanced manner.